Okay, so you want to use live polling in your Zoom meeting, and maybe you're using AHA slides, maybe you're using Mentimeter or another program, and you want to figure out what are the logistics of that? What are the ways that you can have people pay attention in Zoom, see the results, and also be answering the live poll all at the same time? So let me walk you through it. The way I do it is the first thing is to make the AHA slides or whatever link uh, whatever software you're using, really simple, right? You want to be able to send a simple link into the chat. So if you're using AHA slides, almost all the links are uh, something that's just a few letters. So that's really easy. So what I'll do is I'll open up the chat and I will say, okay, let's go ahead and uh, oh, I'll make this a little bit. Okay. So we were just talking about Canva in here. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just send the link in the chat. Uh, to AHA slides. And before I'll do that, I'll say, okay, so if you have a phone nearby, if you are on a computer, then I would encourage you to open up the link I'm about to send on your phone, right? So just go ahead and go to ahaslides.com and then type in the rest of the link. Um, <clears throat> they don't need to like copy and paste it. it would, it's, that would be, it's, it's not necessary to do that. If you're on a single device and you don't have a different one, then go ahead and just open up this link. So I'll send that AHA slides link in the chat. Again, I'll say uh, open on your phone if possible. And then uh, people will be going there and usually on AHA slides, I will have some sort of, um, <clears throat> some sort of basic, uh, some sort of basic like beginner question. That way when people get there, they can kind of see. So I'll have some sort of basic beginner question. That way when they arrive, uh, they can start answering that question right away, right? So I'll have this question, where are you calling in from? Or, you know, give me one emoji to describe uh, your how you're feeling today. And what they'll see on their phones is this, right? So I'm calling in from Vermont, submit. So. Um, what I will usually do, especially if we're going to get into questions where I want everybody's answer before they respond is I'm going to have this toggle clicked hide results and I'll have that on all questions, right? So, <clears throat> so I'm going to do that to kind of start off with. So people will have aha slides on their phone or on their device. As soon as you have the question up, and loaded, they will see the question on their side. And then the last piece of it is just to um, figure out how you want to share AHA slides. So if you go into AHA slides, this is in editing mode, but if you press present, then you'll pop into presentation mode, right? And, um, and what you need to do then is you need to share that screen from, uh, like so that everybody can see it. So you're going to go to share screen. You're going to go ahead and select your aha slides window. And then when you do that, uh, you'll be in screen sharing mode, right? So you'll have everybody's, um, zoom window in the side and everybody will be able to see the aha slides video or all the aha slides results. Um, as soon as you press show results, you'll see all of their answers. Um, you can advance through it. Uh, to the different questions that you have. And again, people will be answering on their phones to the questions that you're putting on the screen. So that's how you get, uh, that's how you do the kind of like logistical dance of AHA slides, share the link in the chat, have people open it up on a second device if possible. If not, just have them open it on a browser. If they're on a computer, they can even drag that browser to be a smaller part of their computer. And then share the presentation mode um, screen with from inside the Zoom. That way you're all seeing the results, you're all interacting with the poll, and uh, that's all you need. <laughs>